Optimists, welcome back to the Organized Optimist with me, Wanja Kairetu. If you're a new subscriber, which I know most of you are, because when I posted my last video, I was at 40 subscribers, but now we are at 87 subscribers. I am so happy. I am glad you joined the cleaning and organizing community, and I really appreciate it. If you are a returning subscriber, I feel the love and I appreciate you as well. Now, without further ado, let's get into what today's video is about. As per the title of the video, we are decluttering and organizing my niece's chest of drawers as I share tips on how to declutter your spaces. The tips I share can work for any space you are willing to declutter. So guys, stay tuned and let's learn. It should be fun. It was fun shooting this. So yeah, let's do it. I know someone is wondering why is decluttering your space very important? Well, this is why. First of all, mental clarity. A tidy space often leads to a clearer mind. Clutter can be distracting, overwhelming, and that being said, productivity levels will be low. It's proven, guys. <laughs> Number two is stress reduction. A cluttered environment can increase feelings of anxiety and stress. By decluttering, you can create a more peaceful and calming environment. Number three is efficiency. Knowing where your items are can save time. Trust me, it can. Number four, enhances decision making. The process of decluttering forces you to make decision about what to keep, what to discard, you know, and that is honoring decision making. Number five, decluttering definitely boosts your well-being. A decluttered space can bring a sense of accomplishment and well-being, leading to an overall improvement in mood and outlook. Guys, can you see my mood? I'm so happy I did that. My last point is decluttering definitely enhances aesthetics. Decluttered spaces often look cleaner, more organized and more aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> well, now I have given you reasons why you need to declutter your space. So now let's get into the video. <laughs> Hi, first things first, we're going to get out everything that is in the shelf and then I will show you what to do next. I'm done getting all of them off the shelf. There are quite many. This Kagala has so many clothes. Um, let me sort them and then I'll let you know why I'm doing that. Sawa? Um, what I was doing, I was um, bringing her clothes to my bedroom. Therefore, I can be able to organize and sort them better here because I have a lot of space. Initially, her chest of drawer was sitting right there where my desk is. But after my sister got me the desk, I had to move her chest of drawer to the corridor. And as you can see, there's not much space to organize from there. I thought that there's enough space, but now I've seen you not be able to, to see exactly what I'm doing. So I'll just um, sort them out here with you. So yeah, let's just do that. <laughs> I had to definitely play some music. I don't know whether I'm the only one, but I work better when music is playing in the background. <laughs> if you are not listening to Kinote, who are you listening to? Honestly. <laughs>
now i'm done sorting them out and i'm going to explain um what each pile represents this is a form of or a way of decluttering your clothes um so yeah let, let me share with you why i've sort them out like this i've listened to the videos i've been taking i've realized that nahema sana so i'm here to apologize i'm recovering from a very bad flu this is actually the first day i've been i'm feeling better since um i, I guess last week <sighs> so yeah <laughs> um let's just get into the um tips of decluttering your clothes tip number one is definitely keep clothes that you often wear and have space for now let us underline the word have space for guys you might have so many clothes but it's clear that you don't have space for them that's a sign of you need to declutter that space and the only way you can declutter is by picking out what you really wear or you really need that space so underline the word <laughs> that you have space for okay keep clothes that you often wear that you have space for tip number one tip number two donate clothes that are in good condition and are worthy to be given out you know you also don't want to just um give out just for the sake so kindly for this second point or second tip kindly take into consideration as much as you are giving out the less fortunate they have to be worthy for for what is it called for donation sour my tip number three is store items that you don't wear on a daily basis that you have space for Remember my point number one, those clothes that you're like, um, I don't really wear these, but I'm not ready to part with them. This is where they come in. And also remember in this point, there is, and you have space for them. As much as you're not ready to part with them, you have to have space to store them. Okay, I hope that is clear. Let's go on to the next point. My point number four, which is my last point, I think, <laughs> is trash items that you no longer use you know that ikitu imeraruka imeraruka inakasijui aje and you're still holding on to it that's holding behavior and guys it's time to let go you know like these clothes that do not fit the donating standards you need to trash them asap cool <laughs> please <laughs> please just let go it's time wakati umefika wakupeana hicho kitu no, not kupeana trashing sawa <laughs> i guess i say that a lot i don't know why guys i'm literally fighting for my life i feel like i've talked for ages <laughs> yeah and my mom always tells me that she thinks i would have made a pretty good teacher yeah and i'm starting to believe that because look at who is here giving you tips yani i'm just here educating you giving you the knowledge you know sharing my amazing brain with you <laughs> anyway i have a bonus tip for you my bonus tip is you can sell clothes that meet the selling standards please guys it's going to get you a black kama hii and you're saying you want to sell it no uku kwa shingo inakasijui hivi alafu iko gray it has to meet the um, selling standards and that is a very um good tip for um for decluttering so yeah guys they are five uh, no i have given you five tips for decluttering <sighs> guys i just need to now keep quiet i'm done talking see you guys later so let, let me show you what um each pile of my niece's clothes stands for we had actually decluttered not too long ago so yeah there's not much of decluttering going on here especially the trashing ones so this big pile is what we are keeping and we have space for this this small pile here 
is what we are trashing juice in my face in this meraruka this pile here is the pile that you are going to donate okay and that pile there is the pile that has her shawls you know like we don't use them but we have space for them um our pile or her clothes we don't have clothes that we are going to sell yeah so let me sort these ones out now that that is done i want to further sort them in the sense of like trousers pamoja dresses tops onesies yeah let's do that together <laughs> done sorting them out those are her dresses her pull necks her t-shirt and tops her onesies her trousers and tights her rompers and her sweaters yeah so so watch out to zikunje Lillian was kind enough to come help me out. Finally, all that is done and I'm happy seeing all the clothes well folded. That's the donating batch. And sorry, there are a lot of wires crisscrossing on my floor. But yeah, no, let's pack these um, back into the chest of drawer. I even did a small dance. <laughs> Sorry, don't mind my two left feet. I'm first going to wipe down the shelves using these Care Now alcohol free antibacterial wipes. They're usually so long. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to start packing things from bottom to top. This one, this is where I'm going to put her shawls. Next, we're going to pack her sweaters and dresses let's do that <laughs> this drawer has her trousers tights pull necks tops um shorts yeah <laughs> This left side drawer has her swimming costumes, her stockings, and her beanies. And this um, right side one has her socks, her panties, her bathing towels, and her headbands. <laughs> This bag contains the clothes that will be giving up for donation and this makes me so happy. My niece is happy as you can see. She just woke up but I'm so sure she's happy oh. off. I decluttered her space. Bye. Come. <laughs> My sister is also happy, very happy. I don't know why she's peeping. But yeah, say bye bye, mommy. Okay. Say bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye bye.